Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, March 31st, 2021. The year is a quarter of the way through, at least by means of months, and um, I just want to give a little bit of thoughts from my reading this morning in the book of Psalms. Um, this morning I'm reading Psalm 69 through 72. I got a little bit behind on my uh, daily reading just because of uh, the chaos of kids in the morning. Um, but Psalm 71 is a very interesting psalm. Uh, I highly advise you to read it on your own. It is 24 verses long, and I like to keep these devotionals uh, short. I want to keep it under five minutes. Um, but in it, it's talking about um, the psalmist is desiring to have God be his refuge or her refuge. Um, desiring just to be covered by God, protected by God, in the middle of being accused by people um, and attacked by people. And inside of this, I, I found verses 14 through 18 very interesting because um, the psalmist has a desire to live through the current moment that reaches um, some purpose, some intention, and uh, the logic behind why he wants to live further. So he says, um, So, as for me, I will always have hope. I will praise you more and more. My mouth will tell of your righteous deeds, of your saving acts all day long, though I know not how to relate them all. I will come and proclaim your mighty acts, Sovereign Lord. I will proclaim your righteous deeds, yours alone. Since my youth, God, you have taught me and to this day I declare your marvelous deeds. Even when I am old, do not forsake me, my God, till I declare your power to the next generation, your mighty acts to all who come. So inside of the uh, reasoning and the logic of this psalmist, there's this uh, conviction that life is for the purpose of glorifying God and learning from God. So life is a process of growth and development and learning. It's not an it's not for the pure sake of pleasure, though there is the reality that um, knowing God is delight. And to delight in God is uh, there's nothing greater. And so right now we're sitting on Wednesday, the end of the first quarter of the year. It is the middle of the week of Holy Week. Um, not a lot really happens on the Wednesday of this week in most churches. Tomorrow, some churches will have a Monday Thursday service. Some churches have a Good Friday service. And Sunday is Easter. But right now, the build-up to Easter is not really huge. And some people might be um, in the middle of fatigue. I know a lot of ministers are sort of like, uh, this is a ramped-up week. A lot of just trying to make sure that this week looks good and feels good and is good. And I want to encourage everybody that oftentimes we we push too hard to think about um, how to do things perfectly rather than, I believe, being willing to be learning in the current moment how the Lord is sovereignly providing and how the Lord is molding us and teaching us. And we should never sit inside of this selfishly. But we should always be taking the lessons that we've learned and giving them to people. Um, the One of the greatest blessings that the church has is actually the older generations that have seen the Lord work for decades. And so I want to encourage you, um, you might not feel as though you can do much, but if you have seen the Lord work, you have one of the greatest blessings that you can declare God's power to the next generation. His mighty acts to all who come. So, um, today's Wednesday. Wednesdays are often hard. They're the middle of the week. You want to look forward to something or, you know, difficulty focusing. Some people, maybe they hit their full stride on Wednesdays. Um, usually me, my legs feel pretty uh, dead running-wise and... Mentally, it's a hard day for me to just kind of work through what exactly I need to be doing. But the psalm today encouraged me that um, if I've learned anything, it's a great blessing to pass it on. So God is good, even on a Wednesday. You are loved, even on a Wednesday. Um, never feel alone 
even never allow yourself to believe that you are alone. You may feel um, abandoned. You may feel broken. But God is still there with you. And there are still people who are around you, who love you, who care about you. And so, may your Wednesday be blessed. And may you find a way to bless the Lord today and to share his goodness to those around you.